Hi, buddy. It's Mr. Folly. And welcome to Podcast 8.2 of the Periodic Table, where we're going to learn that all trends are due to size, nuclear charge, and shielding. And that's something you should know. That's like the high point of this whole podcast. We're going to learn that what electronegativity is, its definition, its equation, and its trend. Electron affinity, its definition, its equation, and its trend. Ionic radius, guess what? Its definition, equation, and trend. And ionization energy. We have some other fun things to do with that. And we're going to learn that it's a small, small world. So let's get started. Explain the main way atoms differ, and you just explained every trend. So how can atoms be different? Size. The bigger it is, it's less attractive. High school romances don't last through college. You may think, oh, you're the sweetest, most wonderful person in the world. No, I'm the sweet. No, you're the most sweetest, most wonderful person in the world. Big heart. And then what happens is you go to, being the genius that you are, you go to Stanford. And then your not-so-brilliant significant other goes to someplace far away like LSU. Go Tigers, win national championships in football. And what happens? Well, along comes Thanksgiving, and what happens? Oh, look, there's other people at Stanford. How you doing? And at LSU, oh my goodness, the fun at LSU, you wouldn't believe it. A football game, oh hey, I like you more than I like this garbage thing. Go. Oh, so if you're far away, you lose attraction. Oh, it's gone. Why? Because there's something better available closer. Okay. So bigger is less attractive. So the smaller you are, the more attractive you are. The closer you are to your positive and negative electrons positive protons and negative electrons, pardon me. Nuclear attraction. More protons means more attraction. Hey, that's nice, right? More protons means more attractive. And then the last part is over here, shielding. Inner electrons make a nucleus less attractive by blocking the attraction. So here's the nucleus. It's positive. And forgive me, I'm going to show the Bohr model, even though it's not really like this. If I'm an electron out here, I'm attracted to the nucleus. Hubba, hubba, hubba. So let's say that you're a dude, and you find this positive girl dreamy. Oh, thank you. I'm so dreamy. And then standing in the way is her giant father. OK, well. And then her giant brother, whether he's significantly short or neck. <laughs> Those big, scary people will give them baseball bats or something, or daggers or knives with my great artistic work. Scare you, a little knife, big band with a little knife. So they block the attraction. So shielding is where inner electrons make a nucleus less attractive by blocking that attraction. If you include these three things, size, okay, nuclear attraction, and shielding, that's the reason for everything in the periodic table chapter. Electron affinity is one of the trends we're going to look at. Electron affinity is defined as the ability of a gaseous atom to attract a free electron. So a gaseous atom attracting a free electron, making x negative 1. The trend is fluorine is the Mac Daddy. Francium is a big loser. So we talked a little bit about size last time. We're on the periodic table. Do we have a periodic table on the next slide? Oh, I thought I did. Um, periodic table on the next slide. Well, two, three, four, five. Here's francium. Remember, this is the biggest in size, biggest atomic radius. Okay, So if you want to do big for size, this is size. Okay, So notice, francium is a big loser. It's big and unattractive. I'll add unattractive because that's important. Big, unattractive loser, much like the entire country of France. Okay, So it's a big, unattractive loser. And fluorine is the Mac Daddy. Fluorine's over here. We're going to ignore the noble gases almost all the time. Fluorine is small and attractive. Okay, so Why is fluorine so small and attractive? Fluorine has so many protons for its row, it's attractive. Fluorine's pretty high up, right? doesn't have many energy levels. So it'll be able to attract free electrons easily. So if I said, why does fluorine have a greater electron affinity than francium? Fluorine is small and is attractive because it has many protons for its row. Remember, protons pull in electrons. So it'll be able to attract free electrons easily. Electronegativity is almost the same thing. The ability to attract electrons in a bond. Not much different from EA. What was EA again? Free electrons. Free, free, free electrons. Bonded electrons. So basically, if you're attracted to a single 
all the single ladies, all the single ladies. You're attracted to single ladies. You're also attracted to those that are bonded, all the married ladies, all the married ladies. Right? So you're either attracted or you're not. The trend, Francium is the Mac Daddy. That's a good thing. Oh, sorry, fluorine is the Mac Daddy. Francium is a big, unattractive loser. And you'll see soon why he's a loser, or she. Why? Fluorine is small and is attractive because it has so many protons for its row. So it'll be able to attract bonded electrons easily. Note how I redefine the trend in the underlying part. Note how this is nearly the same as EA. Next trend is ionic radius, which is the size of an ion. Ion is something that has a charge. Cations get smaller. Why? So here we go. Again, please forgive the Bohr model I'm using here. If I have If I have one electron and I'm going to form a plus one ion, what happens is when I lose this plus one ion, notice how right now the size of this atom would be, let's call it 10. But if I erase this, bam, it's not 10, it's way smaller. Now it's like 4. Okay? Why? It loses energy levels when it loses electrons. Anions get bigger. Why? Okay. We'll just focus on one of these little shells here. If I have three electrons on here already, right? They are all attracted to the nucleus, but they also all hate each other. It's like that sister wife shell. Okay. If I add another electron, and let me change it to a thicker, meaner electron. This electron pushes this one away, and pushes this one away, and pushes this one away. So if it pushes them away, notice how my new electron size is a little bit bigger. Okay? So why do anions get bigger? The added electron increases repulsion, increasing size. Ionization energy. Okay. Ionization energy is the energy to remove before we were gaining electrons. Remember electronegativity and electron affinity. Remove one electron from the valence shell, outer SRP, of a gaseous atom. So I'm a regular atom. Yikes, someone ripped off one of my electrons. Ouch. The trend. Fluorine is the Mac Daddy. You may notice that. Francium is a big, unattractive, Loser, much like the country of France. Okay. Now, if you're a loser, hey, look at this. It's a loser. Okay. So, this is the energy to remove it. So, if it's a loser, why is this so big? Why is fluorine still the Mac Daddy? Why? Fluorine is small and attractive because it has so many protons for its row, so it takes more energy to remove an electron. So, if fluorine's very attractive, it's hard to remove an electron from it. So my Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie reference, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, there may be a girl in the world that I could steal away from a boyfriend. There may not. But it's definitely not Brad Pitt, this girl that I'm going to steal. Why? Because Brad Pitt is so darn attractive. So if I try to remove Angelina Jolie, she will laugh at me and say, have you seen Brad Pitt? He's so dreamy and our 12 children from underserved countries with diseases. Okay. So note how I redefine the trend. Notice how second, third, et cetera, ionization energy is possible. Okay. Look at ionization energy graphically. Now let's see if I can make it choose the white color. I can because I want to get rid of this. Oh, I want to have the big. Well, I guess it's as big as it comes. Okay. So I would prefer to get rid of this because this shows a row on the periodic table. So if you look at the periodic tables inside your uh, notebooks, you will notice that oh, I wanted red. Um, notice the trend is gets bigger, goes back down to low. Gets bigger, goes back down to low. Gets bigger, goes back down to low. Hey, that's repeating. What word means repeating? Periodic means repeating. But if you look, there's a couple of little disappointments here. Oh, that's disappointing. Where they go down instead of keep going up steadily. And we're going to look at those. The aluminum group and oxygen group mess up that trend. So if you look at it, aluminum group, which is boron group, aluminum group, um, mess up that trend, and the oxygen group messes up that trend. 
We can explain this when we look at our orbital notation. So it's going to be S, P. Okay, so the aluminum group has three. One, two, three. Now, this electron right here, we're talking about ionization energy. So it's the energy to pluck an electron why is it pretty easy to pluck something in the aluminum group right here? Why? The aluminum group, that, that P1 electron is in a higher energy orbital. And if you're higher energy, remember you're less stable. Remember, high energy is bad, low energy is good. Remember the baby? Oh, baby, rock the bye baby, so slow. But if you have a high energy, ah, and you shake babies, you cause permanent brain damage and death every time. Never, never, never shake a baby, as I saw a bumper sticker lately. Um, the P1 electron is in a higher energy orbital, so it's easier, whoops, easier to remove. Now, now oxygen's got a different story. The oxygen group. has four. One, two, three. And then this is the electron we're looking at, this guy right here, that second electron in. So why is that one easier to remove? Okay. So the P4 electron, that fourth P in there, electron, is so close to another electron, another electron in its orbital, that there is extra repulsion. So it is easier to remove. Now, what's frustrating about this is I have it typed on the next page. <laughs> Aluminum's Ohana breaks the trend because it's the first element in a higher energy orbital, so that is less stable. Oxygen's family breaks the trend because there's a second electron in an orbital. And since electrons repel each other, being there is higher energy. Imagine sitting next to somebody you absolutely, totally, completely despise. I don't know if you can think of someone like that. Maybe you can. Ionization energies can be used to predict the family. Ohana. By the way, no one in chemistry really calls a family an Ohana, just Walt and me. Leaving the full, stable, small, and attractive noble gas state requires a huge change in energy. So notice here, this first part is about 500. From 500 to 4562 is about 4,000. That's 500. Um, 4,500 to there is about uh, 3,000. And to here is about 3,500. And to here is about 3,000. Well, it's about 4,000. And to about here is about 3,500. And to here is about 3,500. And to here is about 2,500. That's not right. About 5,000. And to here is about 3,000. 4,000, we'll call it. 4,000. And to here, this is 141,000. So that's about 120,000. So I would say the biggest changes, like an order of magnitude, extra zeros, are the second and the tenth ionization energy. Okay. So if I look at the periodic table, please be there. Uh, if I look at the periodic table, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it takes a ton of energy right here. This means this is where it's leaving the noble gas state. Okay. So if my first ionization energy is small, that lands me whoop, on the noble gas state, right? So if this first one is small, the second one would be huge because I'm leaving the noble gas state. That would represent a alkali metal. Well, let's see if that works again. The third one would be normal, fourth one, normal, fifth one, normal, sixth one, normal, seventh one, normal, eighth one, normal. Ninth one would also be normal, right? Lambda there. And that tenth one, leaving the noble gas state, would be huge. 
So whenever you're leaving the noble gas that you can count from the periodic table, and we'll do these in class, count from the periodic table to make sure that those um, will make more sense to you. So in review, you should be able to find ionization energy, electron affinity, electronegativity, ionic radius. They all have definitions you must memorize. Like the annoying song of It's a Small World in this language that no one knows what it is. Ionization energy has exceptions to the trend in group 3A, that is the boron group, and 6A, which is the oxygen group. You should know why. Size, attraction, shielding explain it all. Shielding applies only to vertical trends. Vertical is up and down. Florian is the Mac Daddy. Francian is a big, unattractive loser. Florian is not the Mac Daddy's size. Francian is the biggest. Florian is one of the smallest. That's it. So I will give you a great periodic table of toodles, 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 toodles. It's repeating periodic toodles, 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 toodles.